Diana not fooled by the story between Camilla and Charles. If the marriage of Lady Diana and Prince Charles officially broke down in 1992, several experts analysed the relationship between the two royals and estimated that the Princess of Wales knew well before that date of her husband's infidelities with Camilla Parker Bowles. The Duke and Duchess of Cornwall have just celebrated their crystal wedding this Thursday, April the 9th, Camilla Parker Bowles has indeed found the smile. At the same time as her husband, Prince Charles, tested positive for coronavirus and he was in solitary confinement until April 5th, right on time to celebrate, as it turns out, owes their 15 years of marriage in confinement mode in their Scottish mansion in Burke Hall, 10 kilometers from Balmoral Castle, 15 years of marriage, but a romance that began long before long ago in the early 90s when the couple formed by prince charles and lady diana became more and more exhausted despite the happiness and joy of having two beloved sons william and harry if diana began to live a life on her side at the time she was not fooled by the sentimental life of charles who did the same with camilla this love of youth he had found and for which he used subterfuge to communicate with her behind Diana's back, not hesitating to use nicknames to communicate with each other. If the formalization of the end of their marriage dates back to 1992, experts have analyzed and identified the real moment when the marriage of Princess Diana and Charles began to break down. According to them, it is necessary to return to the dawn of the union to grasp their feelings on July 29, 1981, when Charles married Diana at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. The whole planet followed this marriage on Mondio Vision, thinking that they were witnessing the perfect love story, a real fairy tale. But in reality, following this seemingly wonderful union, the world also celebrated the arrival of two magnificent children, sons, William and Harry, and so everyone imagined the little royal family enjoying unparalleled happiness, but behind the golden luxurious doors, the truth was very different. It is this theory that several experts have highlighted in the pages of the mirror. According to them, things started to go wrong many years before they have agreed to separate in 1992 and to divorce in 1996, and there were several key moments that would have helped mark the beginning of the end. Dickie Arbiter, a former royal press secretary, believes that the marriage of Diana and Charles started to go into a tailspin just after the birth of William and Harry. Speaking in the documentary for Channel 5, Charles and Camilla, king and queen in waiting, the royal specialist said, Charles was not the full-fledged father that Diana had expected and hoped for, and I guess it started to create some distance between the two. If not the starting point of the conflict, the situation greatly contributed to keeping them away. Vanity Fair role expert Katie Nichols says Diana always knew Camilla was on the scene and that broke her heart. The omnipresence of Camilla in the entourage of Charles is one of the theories retained by the most specialists. Recently, the cheat Shade side revealed to us that at the time of the beginning of their romance, the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall didn't lack in mischief to sent each other sweet words like the fact of using nicknames to go unnoticed and we learned that the princess of wales was not fooled by this deception declaring in an interview dating from 1995 we had a marriage of three which was a little bit too crowded in the mirror we still learned from the royal expert diana very strongly suspected that charles was still in love with camilla and had not let go of her for all these years she l- felt literally cut off Unable to fight this war, already lost in advance, she felt isolated, she felt betrayed. But what caused the total break between the two royals remains all for this royal tour in India, which took place in February 1992, a few months before the formalization of the break. Carol Malone, editorial writer, explains the following about this period. Diana asked Charles to accompany her to the Taj Mahal, the Temple of Love, and he flatly refused. She was really hurt by his reaction and his refusal, so she still wanted to go and she went there alone. The photo of her sitting alone in front of the famous monument has become emblematic of her relationship with Charles at the press conference that followed Lady Di told reporters that she found the visit soothing. When one of them asked her what she meant by that, she replied with a quick wit, 
Do the math for yourself. A few months later, the royal couple went to Korea for what was to be their last tour. When they returned, they would announce their separation. Charles was going to be able, over time, to fully experience his relationship with the woman he had always loved. Camilla, well, Diana would live the tragic fate that we know.